So my name is Piers Jackson, I'm the Game Director at Gorilla Cambridge. So Gorilla Cambridge recently started working on RIGS Mechanised Combat League on Project Morpheus. And RIGS is a first person shooter exclusive to Morpheus. It's an arena based game mashed 50 years in the future where we collide sports such as racing with shooting to create a spectacular um, sports extravaganza. So uh, in Cambridge we're always pretty much um, jumping into projects head on. We like the challenge. Uh, we wanted to really push the boundaries of, uh, of what was going on. You know, we make first person shooters. We were pretty sure we could find a way of making one work on Morpheus. Uh, and that's the goal we set ourselves. One of the decisions we made very, very early on in the, in the project was that we wanted to make people feel comfortable when playing it. And we knew that we could work that in by actually putting them in a seated position in a mech, in a rig. Uh, and the idea there was to have all of the controls of a first person shooter that you'd understand but to make it really really fluid and natural and comfortable for the user's experience. So we have two options, one which is the one we're highlighting at E3 in terms of control, uh, which is the aim, look and turn mechanism. Uh, the way this works is as you turn your head, the rig turns with you. Um, that can become very, very natural for people uh, and becomes a very accurate and fluid shooting mechanic. And it keeps the rig orientated in the same way that you are, uh, making it easy to move around the environment. We have other options. Uh, we have a mechanism where you can look freely and then use a more conventional control input. So we allow the user to choose whichever mechanism they want really, which is most comfortable for them. So the game mode we've been playing today at E3 is Power Slam. Uh, it's a unique mode in terms of you uh, take down opponents and collect power orbs and uh, after a while you build up enough points, enough energy to go into overdrive. And when you're in overdrive you can make it to the centre of the map, jump through the hoop and score a goal. And that is the, the central premise of the game. You've got to score, killing, shooting is only part of it. Really this is a team sport about scoring goals. The only modes we are showing off are Power Slam, but um, we are obviously looking at others. So at E3 we're showing off three of our classes, the Tempest, the Mirage and the Hunter. Uh, the Tempest is a, is a small rig, it's capable of flying, therefore getting an aerial view over people and shooting down upon them. We've got the Mirage, which is the tallest of the classes, uh, quite quick, nimble, able to do double jumps to gain altitude very quickly, and the Hunter, which is a compact rig, very, very quick, able to get through small tunnels and, uh, and deliver a, a killing blow from behind. So at E3 we're only highlighting the three classes that we're showing. So I guess development ranges back to about 12 months, um, but with a small team and we've just been building up and learning how to work with Morpheus, you know it's a fantastic piece of kit, lots of new experiences, lots of design challenges that uh, we're really enjoying digging into and creating the game that is rigs. At the minute our target is on creating a first person shooter with a sports wrapper for it. Um, you know, we've got a game that you can watch and, and appreciate, so we're not, we're not afraid of people looking at it as an eSports, but our primary focus is to create a first-person shooter on Morpheus. I think as any first-party Sony um, studio, you do look at uh, do, looking at the hardware and new options that are coming available. Uh, right now we're focused on Morpheus and focused on rigs, and that, that will be our focus for some time. So the art style um, is something we've been trying to make very, very colourful, calm, so that people could understand it and move around within the environment. We wanted to give it a sports feel. It, it had to sell sports throughout, so the rigs all have very painted liveries with designs on them that are showing off advertising. Um, everything about the game has to scream sports at every level, uh, and it is playful in that. It's a spectator uh, art style. So yes, um, the game that we're showing, Power Slam, is split into two halves. Uh, we allow really a cool down moment, a, a moment for people to actually refresh themselves uh, and actually it's a nice punctuation in the game when someone's making their way to the goal, will they get there before half time, will they get there before full time, it's a real drum, uh, dynamic tension in the, um, in the game. I think um, with regards to like the amount of time people can spend in Morpheus, I think the, the Morpheus team themselves have done research on this. From my experience, people can spend different amounts of time in virtual reality, and, and it's really up for them to, to determine how long they want to play the game for. So in terms of controllers, we are literally focusing on the dual shop. Um, we're not looking at move at all currently.